How's it going guys? So, in a pinch, sick of uh, messing with a projector. So called Pro Charge. Battery charger that keeps shitting itself. It'll work one time and it won't. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a uh, real quick battery charger. We've got Xbox 360, original old white Xbox 360 power supply. Which puts out 12 volts. I've got a 150 watt boost converter. We put power in and a high voltage comes out and we can set that. A little adjustable pot. There we see the little flathead screw. We've got the leads off the uh, projector. Um, battery charger. Because uh, it doesn't work anymore so let's take them. you need side cutters and a little uh, flat headed screwdriver or whatever uh, is on your uh, terminals for your little boost converter. Okay, so first step we need to uh, bear up the uh, pairs of wires that come out with the uh, this Xbox for instance you get three yellow which is 12 volt positive three black and your red and your blue are your actual switching wire we're not going to worry about that for now uh, the switching wire will just be me twitching them together there's not going to be a switch see them twisted together shorten them up a bit like so On your boost converter, you've got an in and an out, like so. Wind your terminals open. Try your hardest to get three little wires into one little wire hole. in there with moderate success. We need a bigger little flat blade. A bigger small flat blade. Or a small Phillips. Whatever suits you. We'll just keep our uh, red and blue out of the way for now. A little bit rough, I might crimp some bootlaces on them at a later date. I need to start the car. Okay, that's inlet. Input. Strip off our uh, leads for our alligator clip cables. So by doing this, I'm making a power supply that I can power anything over. Uh, 12 volts all the way up somewhere like... Should be able to do... Up to 30 maybe? Something like that. We'll test it. Same story. Snip them off smaller and neater. It's a nice super flexible cable. Negative center. Positive outer. They're not really that nice of terminals to be honest with you, they're a bit on the horrifically cheap side. But it was horrifically cheap to buy. I think it was only a couple of bucks, I bought this off the uh, Geek app. I'm sure you can find the exact same thing on eBay. All very similar dollars. Okay, we'll go ahead and plug our AC power in. And on our Xbox, we'll have an orange light. Orange light means standby. We'll go ahead and twist our two cables here together, and we have green light, which means it's output and power. 
Okay. Get our two alligator clips here. Grab the multimeter, any multimeter. We want to measure DC voltage. <laughs> I didn't adjust it for this yet. So what we'll do is we'll stop at oh too far. I like 14.2. 14.2 sounds like a good voltage to get a car battery up to. I'll take it out to the car and uh, see if I can't get it to charge the car. Good test. Okay, so we've got a uh, watt hour meter, our Xbox 360 power supply, our buck slash, I think it's a, just a called a boost converter, sorry. Got a volt gauge from the car battery, we've got 2.3 volts. We'll just have to connect up our negative lead and uh, it should start charging. Straight away it goes up to 13.9 volts, which means it's pushing. Significant voltage in, get a little spark out of it. It's currently pulling 23 watts and rising. So if it's pulling 23 watts and rising, I'd say that means it's absorbing charge. So the battery was at 2 volts. It jumps to 14 because lead acids take a little while to eat it. And as you can see, the voltage is starting to drop. Which means the lead acid battery is actually starting to absorb this charge. Unfortunately, connected to the door, there's that stupid neon light I've got to pull out. I might cut that off, actually. The voltage is dropping. Amperage is going up, we're at 76 watts, 78 watts, 79 watts. So it still feels good. I think we're settling at about 90 watts at the moment. That's really good. 12.15. Because lead acid batteries will find a point where they balance out and stop discharging. The biggest problem is I don't drive this poor vehicle enough. So it doesn't, uh, just goes flat sitting in the driver. I drive my work bus all week. 98 watts. Alright, we'll come back to this in a minute. Let's see how we go. So it's been about 10-15 minutes, it's uh, dropped to 42, it's sitting on 13.18 up here. So what we'd do is we might just measure the voltage of just the boost converter. Oop. That's still at the right voltage which is good. It's making sure that it hadn't adjusted since we put a load on it. We're into the 13s, that will only be like a surface chargey kind of thing. I don't think it'll wind over yet. Oh, tried. Alright, and with that. That was uh, a bit of a stupid move by my behalf. I turn on the key to try and start it with the boost control connected. It's cooked the boost control. The red light comes on, but uh, nothing comes out the other side. So we'll see if we can work out what's going wrong with that. In another video, unfortunately. That was actually charging quite well. So it would certainly work, but you just de definitely need some kind of protection on the circuits. Um, I figured the Xbox controller would have good enough protection to have a suite, but no, obviously not. 
So, uh, we'll try something else. Thanks for watching YouTube. Um, learnt my lesson, that's how you kill a, uh, kill a little boost converter. Catch you on the next one.